A recent decision by the FAA has the entire country buzzing with excitement and fear for the future. These little flying machines are about to change the way we live our lives. Tonight in the Fox Files, drones and what new rules mean for all of us. The FAA took a big step that has been a long time coming, getting somewhat up to speed on new drone technology and how it is used commercially. The new rules will allow commercial use of drones under 55 pounds. Until then, Haller Concepts is already using a micro drone, which is under four pounds, for its video and photography business. How high do you normally take this? Oh, uh, we normally take it between under 100 feet to get some really good shots. Safety is a big concern for people who see these unmanned machines flying around. Howler always uses a two-man crew to operate its drone for that reason. One to direct the shot and the other to operate and keep an eye on the drone at all times. New FAA rules would allow companies to use small drones during the daytime, away from airports and always within the operator's sight. It addresses the FAA's VSLO, which is a visual line of sight, and they prefer to have the operator looking at the unit at all times in case there's a plane that would be coming in or uh, people, bystanders directly underneath. Right now, drones have become extremely popular in real estate. Haller uses its drone to fly over properties and even through them. The drone can showcase the inside of large plants and show proximity to highways and rail. It's the different point of view that you can get when there's visual aspect, uh, bird's eye view if you will, and it can see the footprint of an overall area much tighter than Google Earth could. Until now, you needed a pilot's license to fly a drone for commercial reasons. The FAA doesn't regulate people who use drones for recreational reasons. But for now, the FAA is not allowing the next big face in commercial drone usage. Companies like Amazon will have to wait for GPS-guided drones to deliver their packages to their home. It's kind of like considering the, the days of the Model T coming out and being ruled by horse and buggy uh, legislation. The drone industry is expected to grow from $2 billion this year to more than $10 billion in the next 10 years. But privacy continues to be a big issue for citizens and groups advocating strict controls from the FAA. If you are concerned about cameras looking at you, you're living in the wrong country because when you walk down the street, there are cameras looking at you. Uh, probably more discreet than a drone that you would see flying in the sky. The FAA has begun allowing some police departments to use drones in law enforcement. Right now, none are being used in the St. Louis area. But the St. Louis Police Department has asked the FAA for permission. The ACLU and groups like Drone Free St. Louis are against police using drones. And a lot of our laws in place haven't kind of like foreseen having cameras flying in the sky. So it's just something that I think we really need to like be talking about, be thinking about, and be understanding like what do we need to have in place? Um, what's going to keep us safe? Because it's not the technology that's bad, it's kind of how you use the technology. The FAA is still in the discussion stage of its new ruling, so realistically it will be next year before it gives its final stamp of approval to commercial use of drones. Well, I'll tell you, and, and what they say about need for discussion is certainly true, because mm -hmm. there are so many scenarios and different many. uses of that that have to be thought about and rules made for. And technology is moving so much faster than the government regulations, it's so hard to keep up. Yeah, yeah we'll hear more about mm -hmm. this. Oh, we will. A lot it's, more. it's the future. Yeah, that's interesting.